you guys welcome back to my channel welcome if you guys are new here today I'm sharing with you guys how to um, basically clean your um, like head cleaning like do a manual head cleaning this is how we're gonna just clean the print head you don't have to be afraid of it it's very easy to do this um, anytime your ink is starting to get like you're getting built up inside there your prints are coming out smudged um, you're not getting ink running through the lines you know anything like that like I've tried so many different things on my own to try to figure out like what is happening so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off the damper holder we're gonna take the dampers out we're gonna take um, take all this out we're gonna clean it we're going to clean it really really good because I've been on vacation and gone for a week I haven't touched this printer and I can already see where the white is not coming through the line so I'm gonna have to manually pull the white ink through also but there's no point in doing that until I clean it really really good because I know that there is probably gunk on my print head and you do have to be very careful with that you need alcohol wipes um, if you don't have that and I'm not like I said I am NOT an expert I'm not promoting anything on this nothing is sponsored but what I will do is I will take a cloth and I'll put I'll put a rubbing alcohol on it and I will wipe it very carefully because I know gunk gets built up on there you just have to be super careful with doing that so all I did was order some stuff off of Amazon I've used this in the past I think it's like nine dollars for this printer cleaning fluid is to clean like your nozzles very easy to do I don't do it the super lengthy process some people will do these crazy things I've been sent videos before for um, um, the printer people and I don't go through that step I am NOT going to um, I don't want to mess my printer up any more than it already has been so I'm just gonna share that with you guys Hopefully you learned something from this. Like I said, I'm not an expert and this thing has been a headache. So I just know that I thought I could share this with you guys in case someone was looking for a video like this. Okay, you guys. So this is hard to get a good angle of like what's inside of this. Like I can't hold the camera at the same time I'm doing this. But inside there, and this is the R1390. The L1800 is a little tiny bit different with how this comes out. So what we're gonna do, and I suggest getting a magnetic screwdriver there are like three little screws down in here. There's also a clip here that holds your ribbon in. So you're not gonna wanna mess that up. You're gonna wanna remember how you take that out. That way you can put it back exactly how it is. Um, other than that, this is very easy to do. You just have to be very careful because these parts are very, you know, you can move them, but they're easy to break, if, if you know what I mean, because this is a small printer. Even the big boys, um, you have to be careful with those too, because you're messing with a really expensive print head on those. So let's go ahead and get, I'm going to get magnetic screwdriver out. So I'm going to go in there, and I wish I could show you this better. Everybody's is different. Everybody's might be held a little bit different. But down in here is a screw here, a screw here, and another screw. And we're just going to take those out, and you're going to want to hold on to those, but I find it easiest to do this if you have a magnetic screwdriver just because it is so hard to get down in there and get those out like but you have to take them out obviously because you otherwise you're not gonna be able to get it out of there so i'm gonna do that real quick can't even see i don't have a lot of light in this room so take these off see the magnet pulled that out um, you can take your ribbons out first if that helps, like your ink, I'm sorry, what am I saying? You're, you can take your ink out first. And what some people do, ooh, I got some black on there. That definitely needs clean because the color is combining on the bottom. See, the black is smearing into that. We don't want that, but there is buildup in there, like major buildup. So I definitely need to clean this. I will take these. You can tie these off. Some people tie these off. Um, I don't do that because mine are not hard to get, you know. Ooh, I got some color. Yeah, I definitely need to clean that. That's not good. So see, there are those. I'm just going to hang them over because I've done this so many times. I don't want to take the extra steps, but I'll show you how dirty this is in a minute. So you can see. Because like I said, it just gets built up. And sometimes your printer might give you an error message when it's doing that because it needs to be clean. Like my printer will tell me, a lot, I mean, won't tell me, it'll fuss at me. And it's me needing to clean that. So there's another screw came off and we've got one more. So don't be afraid to do these things. I literally had to take this whole printer apart by myself. Um, and there's the other one and there is black down in there. Ooh, this one might be messy today. So 
here's what I'm trying to show you. I'm not showing you a very good angle. There's a little clip right here and you're gonna want to take that clip off but you're gonna wanna remember how it pops back in there because otherwise it'll mess. I think in the L1800 you have like something else attaching that. I don't. I'm just going to pull up and take it out. See? But there, you guys might have an extra screw in there. I'm not completely sure. So there we go. So now that should release. So you don't want to get that ink. You have to put, pull that to release it. And yeah, see, look how filthy that is. So your print head, see all of that stuff on my print head along the outside, all that gunk, that is going to make my print head not communicate right. So I think you can take this ribbon out. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to clean it and be very careful. I know like you can detach this. Um, I've never done that before. I'm not going to attempt that. I'm going to get my cleaner and I'm going to pump the liquid through um, this till it runs clear. So hang on one second and we'll do that. Let me put sit this up here. Be very careful. Like I said with the print head, you don't want it to fall, but I'm going to get my alcohol wipes. Okay, so I have some alcohol. I'm going to pour a little bit on my little cloth. Don't really want to waste the whole cloth, but I'm just going to get that saturated with a little bit of alcohol. And you see your print head. Can you see? You can wipe around it. See all that is on my print head. So that's going to cause problems and you got to be very careful. You just want to do an even streak. I'm just trying to wipe around it first because it literally, look at that gunk build up on there. You don't want that on your print head. Obviously you don't want that on there at all. And I'm not an expert. Like I said, someone, a tech might tell you totally different. This is just what I've learned to do. This is just what I'm saying. And I don't want to be responsible for anybody messing up their print head. I'm just showing you what I do. And you can put a little bit of alcohol. So, cause you don't want colors on there, obviously. See how it leaves like a little glisten of alcohol. So that looks good now. So we've cleaned all that, which I knew that that was going to be super gunky. So now I need to get a little container to clean this. Let me get a little jar container. Okay, so in the box is gonna be your print head cleaning solution. You're gonna have a tube and you're gonna have a syringe. Then you're gonna have some other extra stuff. You're even gonna have gloves, but I'm not gonna use gloves. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this cleaning solution. You're gonna pull some of that through with your syringe and attach the little hose on the end. And I got a little glass container to do this over cause it's very messy. Let me come a little ways from this. Oops, sorry guys. So I'll show you what we're gonna do. Okay, so I've got the syringe full and I've attached that afterwards. So what we're gonna do is I've got my bowl. Go ahead and show you guys this, a better angle so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. So be very, whoop, be very careful with your ribbon, you guys. Actually, I wanna set this up. I don't wanna have to unattach all that, so. My ribbon is caught. Okay, so I am very carefully going to put that bowl. You see it? You have to be very careful with the ribbon, like I said. See all these different shades of ink? I'm going to run this on each one because you got to flush the print head. Very careful. Do it really slowly. And until that, see how the yellow is coming out in the bowl? You run it until it has like a white collar coming through or it's clear. So I'm just going to pump that through so it cleans it really, really good. And we'll go through each nozzle and do that. But you, you're flushing it through the print head. So there we go. There's the yellow one. Okay, now I want to do the next color. And it's going to be black. Look at all that 
we're just flushing this print head to get all this out just in case there's a clog which I do have a clog because it's not you know the ink's not coming out and you just gotta watch it do it slowly so you're not overdoing it until it's no longer the color coming through so it's starting to turn clear there we go that one's done now we'll move on to the next color okay doing this color now and, ooh, that one is having trouble pushing through that's our was that our white So that one definitely had a little bit of a clog in it. Okay, now we're doing the next white one. Oop. Woo, that one didn't have... Oh my goodness, I just made a mess, guys. Okay, white's done. Now we just got red, or the cyan. And... Okay, now the cyan. I can tell this is a mess. Woo. And you can wipe the tube off before you put it in the other colors, by the way. I was doing that. Okay, and now I'm gonna wipe that off. Now we just have blue, and then we'll clean in between all of this uh, damper. Okay, and last is the blue. So that is done, and I'm gonna wipe the print head off again. So I'm gonna move that. Look at all that ink came out. It's gross. I've got some alcohol in there because you can see the blue and I don't want to leave that blue sitting on top of there like that. I'm just going to put the alcohol right back over until it has like a glossy shine to it. That way we're putting it back in there all nice and clean you guys. So that's filthy. So you can take a little bit of the cleaner and put it in there or you can use like a little bit of alcohol and what I'm going to do is take the rest of this rag and just kind of rotate it. If you have alcohol wipes, use those. You just want to get all that nice and clean and you don't want to mix all the colors up. So I'm going to switch it and it does stain your hands. I'll say that because I've got my nails on there and it gets, uh, it changes, it gets ink all over my nails. So you can wear gloves if you want. I'm so used to doing this that it just doesn't bother me. You get used to the ink, you know. Just try to twist it real good. Get it real nice and clean if you can. Clean all that gunk. And there's like little swabs you can buy and stuff um, to do it. Like I can see the blue is really built up. So I'm going to try to get that extra clean. Just putting that one back in. Number two. Then number three. And I'll probably wipe off the outside of this because um, my tampers are really dirty. That red keeps wanting to get everywhere. I will say that. So, the color code. And if you guys ever forget the way it's color coded, I'll wipe that off of there. Um, then it is yellow first. And that yellow has got a little bit of black stuck on the outside. So I'm just going to wipe that off, you guys, because it's going to drive me nuts just in case. Like, I'm just not going inside of it, but it looks terrible. Because every now and then you get a little spillage. So, go. And changing these out is really easy, too. So you have to be really, really careful with it. So, there's... Yellow goes first, then we've got black, wipe black off, and then we've got both whites, just going to do them in order. See that white has all that red on it, so I'm going to wipe all that off on the side there. Okay, so this white goes.
this first. I've got blue stuck to it too. Shoot, what a mess. So. White and then white. And then we've got red or cyan. And then we've got blue. So, and I've got ink all over my hands. I've already washed them once. So there we go. Okay, you guys, that is all for this video. I just wanted to show you how you could easily go in there and clean it, not to be afraid of it. You just can do it. Just be very careful with how you do things, you know, and I'm no expert, like I said, but I just wanted to share tips and tricks to help you guys. And that is all. Hopefully that will help you if you have any sort of a clog or anything with streaking on your images and stuff. Because you have to maintain that every so often, you guys. Especially if you're out of town for an extended amount of time. You'll want to do that. So have an awesome day. Please subscribe if you're new. Love to have you guys here. Lots of content, especially directed towards DTF, coming your way very soon.